Richard Patrick is here uh, from Filter. Um, so we um, we were talking about Filter. First big big song was uh, Hey Man, Nice Shot. Yeah. That was the that was like the huge uh, hit. Yeah. And uh, I would ask you a question about the song. This is one of those things where there's like a rock and roll legend. Oh, and yeah, the le- I know. You know what it is, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you're laughing, so it must not be true. The- well, I, there's so there's so many problems. The, the, you know, this song is was so controversial, and I literally was like, "What did I do?" People <laughs> said that "Hey Man, Nice Shot" was about Kurt Cobain. That was the that was the tragedy of the song coming out after he killed himself. Well, I would the- never even think. I, you know, it, it wasn't until I read it online that I thought well, the, that was what well, it was about. He, the problem was. The problem was the song came there, out there right were, after. There were DJs. The song came. The song was written in '91, so so could it, bit about I'm not, Kurt Cobain. You know, I'm not a. You know, I can't. There it is. That's the song. That's no love. Oh, okay. We're looking for the. What's... Yeah, and that's the that's the song we wanted to play at, we, when we go into the the next break. We're um, going to. But back to Hey Man, Nice Shot, everybody. Yeah, uh, that is, that's not about uh, Kurt no, Cobain. No, it, it the, the the sad thing is is that. You know, my label, Warner Brothers, or someone had had put it out, and they said it's kind of about someone killing themselves, or it's it's about it's a song about suicide, and so they DJs in Seattle said no, this song is about Kurt Cobain, huh. and they just kept repeating it over and over and over, and that's just the problem is is when you when you say it over and over, it just becomes whether or not it's the truth or not, it's just the truth, you know. And um, so I had to finally go on and say, no, this song, if anything, it was inspired by R. Bud Dwyer. I know who that guy is. Yeah. R. Bud Dwyer yeah. held a press conference in, he was a state treasurer in Pennsylvania, and he held a press conference, and he took out a gun, and he- I he remember his, that. He blew a hole in his head. Through oh. His, shot, him, shot himself in the mouth. On TV, while well, the cameras were rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I, I had gotten the footage from, on Lollapalooza- uh, uh, the raw footage of it, and it was like really sick. And I, I, you know, and you know, me and my stoner buddies would be like, "Oh, dude, you gotta check," you know, just like morbid, you know, punk rockers that we were back then. Um, yeah, we'd we'd watch it, and it was just like it's so intense because you know, our culture doesn't really have a lot of death in it. You know, there's not. It's not like well, well our culture does not have a lot of death well, in it. I, 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 I'm this, from the suburbs. I don't remember <laughs> seeing people being, you know, killed in the. You know what I mean? I didn't see a lot of things like that when I grew up. So when you're 23 and you, or 22 and you get this footage, you're like, wow. I can't right. You know what was, you, the thing that was so crazy about it was that it wasn't movie violence. Yeah, it was, it was like so, real life. It was violence. totally real. And and you know, yeah. faces of death and you know, videos. Uh. They, we didn't have YouTube and there wasn't. You couldn't go to bestgore.com and you know just see like the most horrendous. I saw a man get his head chopped off oh, with, a, God. with a chainsaw on on, on uh, from one of the drug cartels. This uh. is like you know you could see anything on the internet, but back then you know it was like this like you know we were like what how uh, like we were just watching it out of like the fascination of like God we all gotta die. Yeah, every one of us is gonna die. There's like a morbid curiosity with all that. So I watched it and I was like, hey, man, nice shot. (laughs) And the next thing I knew, I had this song written. And the world became an amazingly small place because all of a sudden I'm like this unknown kid in Cleveland writing a song for his friends, you know, to, you know, five years later, six years later, people saying it's about Kurt Cobain. And Dave Grohl, like meeting Dave Grohl and going, You've got to know from the bottom of my heart, I didn't ever say it was about Kurt Cobain. The record company didn't say it was about Kurt Cobain. Did he think it was and you had to explain he, it to him or did you just first, feel like you needed to? Well, Dave said he at first he was like, I heard the song and I instantly liked it. It was a great song. And he's like, but then I, I listened to it and a friend of mine called me and said, this song's about Kurt and the DJs are saying it's about Kurt. And so he was like, well, that's pretty that's pretty gross like you know you're making money off of my dead friend and i'm like and i'm like but 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 then he goes then i read your article in rolling stone which i talk about like i like when i was writing it back in 91 Mm -hmm. after Lollapalooza, i was you know we were on that big huge Lollapalooza. nine inch nails was 
and we were on tour and i just remember i was in paris after that we had played a few shows with guns and roses and i was like you know thinking to myself when i was talking to trent like you're gonna go off and make a record and you know i'm gonna go home and you know do nothing and live in my live in my mom and dad's basement and trent's like dude you should go write a record and i was like okay i think i will so i wrote a record and that record was the beginning of short boss and um <clears throat> so you know going back to 95 and the in the kurt cobain and all that dave grohl had sat there and he was like dude i read your article i completely understand because people think i'm writing songs about kurt and i'm not i wrote all my foo fighters first record when he was alive mm -hmm. like when i was in the off time when you know kurt was we weren't on tour and stuff like that so he's like i totally get it don't sweat it chris nova you know the bass player chris nova selic nova selic yeah mm -hmm. uh i met him later on and he was like dude no problem it's all good you know there's no we we totally understand how the media twists things and so I was, that was the only real thing that I was worried about. But then, on top of that, our bud Dwyer's widow oh, no. contacted our publicist <clears throat> and, um, and said, how could you bring this back up? How could you do this? And the thing is, is it's like, wait a minute. You should have told her, no, it's about Kirk you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> No, but the reality was, is, look, the reality was, is, you know, your husband got on live TV which was broadcast live in many different states, including Cleveland, where I grew up, mm -hmm. held a press conference that he knew was going to be on live TV and shot himself right. in the head. And this is what society's done is uh, an artist has written a song that was loosely inspired by an event like that. It wasn't really, it's not like I'm saying, hey, Arba Dwyer, you know, take, hey man, I shot. I'm, I'm just kind of talking about a phenomenon of someone going to the extreme to make a point. And that was what the whole song was about. Hey, man, nice shot. You, you've made a point. You've, you've, if anything, you you've certainly have made a point that, you know, people can, you know, kill themselves, you know, essentially. Because <laughs> yeah, right. I don't uh, think anyone remembers hey. that he was trying to say he was innocent. They just remember he, he killed himself. Yeah. So. Now, we were talking about, uh, uh, we talk about filter, we play, uh, take a picture. That is much uh, less rocking than uh, the more recent music. Yeah, some of the stuff you put out. So we we finally uh, got it here. We're gonna hear something uh, from an album that came out 2010, right? Yes, I appreciate that. All right, I like the new stuff. And what and is the old what stuff. is this song called? Uh, this new record the, is no the song that we're about absentee father the, from the new stuff or hey man nice shot no 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 the the one no love what what are you absentee about? father absentee father right you oh, guys no, you want to play no love play no, no love. love yeah that's what that's you want to play four, oh, I got think. it. Oh, yeah.